Something tells me that you want to make a gingerbread house or decorate some cookies, which is why you're looking for a royal icing recipe. Let me tell you, it's super easy. It just takes three ingredients, egg whites, powdered sugar, and water. You don't even need a stand mixer. I just love every excuse to pull out Lulu, so she's gonna be here today with us. Now this does contain raw egg whites, so if that's a concern for you, you can always buy pasteurized eggs or meringue powder. I will leave the recipe for the meringue powder down below. So basically for every one egg white you put in, you need one cup of powdered sugar. Very straightforward. And you can save your little egg yolk to make some custard or creme brulee. Ooh, that sounds so good. So I'm gonna put two eggs in, just cause that's how much I want. Now Lulu will demonstrate how to whip up your eggs. You're just gonna make them a little bit frothy. See, so they're slightly frothy. Now, like I said, for every egg white, you'll need, ooh! Can never do something without making a complete mess. All right, let's start with that. Still a little too runny, but basically there are two different types of consistencies that you can use for royal icing. There's one called flood and one called stiff. So stiff is what you'll use to put your gingerbread house together. It's very thick and it's like a, like a glue, like a paste. And then a flood is a looser icing that you can pipe on and move around with a little toothpick or something to give it more shape. Oh, and it's also at this point that you wanna add your extract. So uh, most people like vanilla, but almond extract, so good. Anyone from Dayton, Ohio knows Laura's cookies? That's almond extract. I have the perfect flood consistency. So let me just bring you around. When you stream the icing into the bowl, it should take between 15 to 20 seconds to fully disappear. If it takes less than that, then add more powdered sugar. And if it takes more, add a teaspoon of water. So now I'm gonna add more powdered sugar to give this a stiff consistency. Just add a little bit at a time. That was probably half a cup maybe. Please don't make a mess. Aha, I have stiff icing now. And how do I know it's stiff? Well, it's stiff. Still has a little bit of movement, but doesn't really fall anywhere. So you can go a little bit thicker than this. I wouldn't recommend it just because getting this out of the piping bag would be very hard. So this is what you're looking for. I need flood icing right now. So I'm gonna show you how to get it from stiff to flood. So you're gonna start with half a teaspoon of water at a time. It takes very little to make it soft again. So just be very sparing with your water at this stage. Just gonna turn it back on low. And look at that. I think it took about three teaspoons total to go from stiff to thin, but that'll vary based on um, how thick or thin your icing started out as. Look at that beautiful flood consistency. So it's ready to go in my piping bag. I have a little hack for you just to end this video off with once I get this in the bag. Oh, and one other thing, if you leave your um, royal icing out, not covered, it will dry out. So if you have any extra in your bowl that you don't want to put in a piping bag yet, cover it with a wet paper towel so that it doesn't form that um, crust. Oh, and also feel free to, to dye this any color you want. Any food coloring you add should go in the same stage as the extract, just because it will affect the consistency. It's all ready to go. I have so many tips to choose from. Sometimes you're like, oh gosh, I want to use like five of these, but I don't want to make five different piping bags. And you also don't have one of these handy dandy little couplers here. You're just gonna add your piping tip and you're gonna take a second bag and add it over. So now you're just gonna cut the ends off when you're ready to use it. And when you wanna change it out, you just take this bag out, take your tip off, add another tip, and then put your ghost bag back over it. And now that you have your royal icing, you're probably gonna wanna make some gingerbread, so you can find my recipe right here. And to see how I make them into houses, check out my videos right here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bisous.